Although he has not with us, he is still thought of on a daily basis by his family and his many fans. Today we will place the 2,365th star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for the late Brian Peake. But first, let me tell you a little bit about our honorees. Brian Keith is a well-known fixture of American stage, television, and screen. Brian was born Robert Alvin Keith on November the 14th, 1921, in Bayoni, New Jersey. We haven't heard from New Jersey here. Did I say that right? No. no. All right, I apologize. And at least I mean, no, he was from New Jersey. His parents were vaudevillians Robert Keith and Helena Kippen. Brian had an early exposure to stage life, as well as an appearance at age three in the silent film Hyde Piper Malone. After that, his budding career was mostly shelved for the next 20 years. At age 19, in the summer of 1941, he joined the Marine Corps, serving throughout the duration of World War II, with two years in combat as a tail gunner. He was discharged in 1945 and subsequently awarded the Air Medal for his service in the Solomon Islands Campaign, as well as the Asiatic Pacific Campaign Medal with three bronze stars. After his discharge, and if you hear anything you like, you can cheer on there, okay? That's worthy of cheering. So why did you get that? You received three bronze stars. Now after his discharge, Brian took up the family trade, settling in New York as a stage actor. He performed in many Broadway productions, including Mr. Roberts and The Moon is Blue. He also appeared in innumerable programs in the then pioneering medium of television, credited as Robert Steve Jr. In 1953, he was cast as Charles and Heston and Jack Palance in the Paramount picture, The Arrowhead. From then on, he managed parallel movie and television careers that spanned five decades. All right, that's worthy of applause. Now, among his memorable movie roles was that of Teddy Roosevelt in The Wind and the Lion. But he played a myriad of parts over his career, ranging from a Russian scientist and meteor to a beleaguered family man in the sick Eugenio. He is perhaps most fondly remembered for his role as the father of twins in the 1961 film, The Parent Trap. Yeah. And he co-starred in that movie with Haley Mills and Maureen O'Hara. In television, he was equally versatile. From his early days in such playhouse productions as Alfred Hitchcock Presents, through nine series of his own, including Sam Peckinpah's groundbreaking program, The Westerner, and Stephen J. Cannell's Hardcastle and McCormick. Yeah. All right, you like that? It was his role as Uncle Bill in Family Affair that was his best known role. Yeah. He garnered three Emmy nominations during the five year run of that series. In his last film, Rough Riders, in 1997, Brian played President William McKinley. Direct, director John Millius dedicated Rough Riders to Brian Keith, actor, Marine, raconteur. He was a man of courage and honor, a hardworking professional, and to his many fans, a beloved entertainer over a long and diverse career. He is fondly remembered and will be memorialized forever with this star. Yeah. And now, please welcome to the stage his wife, Victoria Keith. speakers and in fact we're going to do something a little unusual uh, for us. We have done it before but it's rare. We're going to have a blessing on the star. And to perform that blessing I'd like to uh, bring to the stage Monsignor John Sheridan, Pastor Emeritus from Our Lady of Malibu Church. Please give a big hand to Pastor for Monsignor Sheridan.
Someone mentioned uh, when I was coming in that they had seen a lot of things happen in Hollywood. I have seen a lot of things because I've been here for the last 70 years. I, I am very deeply privileged to be able to have a little prayer for Brian and with Brian because I was with him to the very end and then he joined the heavenly community with his lovely wife Victoria and his family. And it's great, a great privilege for me and I hope that my prayer will not be the last prayer in Hollywood. Bless this star, O oh Lord, and may every moment of light and life, of love and wonder, breathe with the mortal breath of a beloved Brian. Fuse and glow with meteoric splendor, sweeping your firmament and lighting in you the light of his dear Victor Victoria, his family, his friends, the countless thousands whose lonely hearts he filled with laughter and joy. Lord, from that blessed wonderland, which I have not seen nor even heard, nor can we, we poor earthlings conceive, may our dear Brian speak to us in this his God. May every wanderer, every mortal who comes this way, may their souls be set alight by this God. May they hear the voice of Brian, transfused by that beatific vision for which all of our hearts are yearning. May the song of the angels, hymned by their iron hearts, lift our ways to new hope and new life as we wait to rejoin Brian and that gallant band whose stars are here on this boulevard, or whose stars are still to come and shine and glow and light our way to life. Amen. Monsignor. Our first speaker today is remembered for her starring role as Sissy in the long-running CBS television hit Family Affair. Kathy Garvey Garver has also won acclaim in movies, stage, radio, voiceover animation, and audiobook narration. Please welcome to the stage Kathy Garver. Yay! 